Hey, welcome back everybody. I want to show you guys Mont Blanc just released the Glacier Series pins and I got a hold of the um, Menstruck, uh, which is the Legrand in the fountain pin. It's very nice. This is the uh, actually, you know, the Menstruck that has the nice design on it here. We'll take a closer look of this uh, just so you guys can see here really quickly. But it's very nice. It's the fountain pin they've uh, released. It's available online and also you can probably get in some of the boutique stores. Uh, this was sent over from uh, the boutique store from Caesars Palace. Don was the one that, if you guys need some help, Don there, uh, you guys can, you know, call, give the store a call and he'll guys help you guys over the phone, uh, however you guys over the email and he can, you know, get you what you guys need and send it right over to you guys. But yeah, we'll, we'll take a closer look at this pin, uh, the fountain pin actually. And um, yeah, it's a new release. So let's go and take a look. All right, so let's take a closer look. I, I couldn't op uh, wait. <laughs> I opened up the package. It came nice and wrapped in here, but you know, I just opened it up. But in there, Don, like I said, Don over there at the uh, boutique in the Caesars Palace uh, uh, Mont Blanc store, if you guys give him a call, he, he'll take good care of you guys over the phone. You guys don't even have to come into the store. He'll you know, he'll help you. Again, this is based on the glaciers out there in Mont Blanc. So this is what the Glacier Pin series came out of. As you can see here, this nice card that comes they threw in there with us and uh, a good thank you on here as well. So that's very nice. Thanks, Don, for sending this out. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the uh, Glacier Fountain Pin. Now, actually, also, I'm going to try to go ahead and um, we'll add some, um, some of the ink in here. This is the Mystery Black Ink. Uh, I kind of like the, the black colors. I have some, uh, the colors. I usually normally use uh, the fine liners on my other uh, uh, Mont Blanc pen here as well. And this is the, uh, we'll compare also the size and things to the Ferrari pen as well. Those are all sent by, uh, also by Don. So again, good guy, takes care of you. You can nice packaging here. It's got that little glacier mountain. It makes it look nice. So it's pretty nice that they put that on there. Um, actually, I was expecting probably another little bigger packaging, but um, it's just a, you know, it's just their Menstruck series, and this is the solitary uh, grand, the grand uh, pin as you can see here, uh, Menstruck solitary, and this is the fountain pin, which is, uh, you know, the uh, the grand. So I might be saying it wrong, but hopefully I say it right. And here you want to get a service guide. That's all you get. Uh, nothing else. So. It's just kind of instructions and so yeah, and here comes a nice little wrapper. Uh, this is kind of like a canvas uh, cover. So let's see inside here. We'll slide it out. Put that on the side. Oh, this is another little cardboard box. Uh, sorry, card cardboard um, filler there. So again, uh, this is the medium. I did want the medium. I like the broad kind of uh, writing. So I'm gonna take a quick look. So yeah, let's uh, let's. Cut to the chase here, and up here in the top, of course, it's got the iconic uh, Mont Blanc uh, lo logo in there, as you can see there in the very top here. Very nice. Uh, other pins have that on there, as you can see, that's also got it. So I won't go into too much detail on these other ones, but you know, you can see there. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Uh, oh man, this is very nice. Uh, it's got a nice finish. You can see, hopefully, the light can capture this in the also the camera. This is very nice. Uh, it's a nice lacquer finish. This is kind of like a blue. And just when you turn it there, hopefully that video really captures that because it almost looks like, I mean, it looks like 3D in there. Uh, I don't know if hopefully, I'm just hoping that the camera does capture it. I'll spin it around. And it's, you know, it's just a basic. And it's got right here the minstrel, minstrel, uh name in there hopefully that video can capture that and it's got Mont Blanc as, it, as well in there I, I don't know if it's showable in there in the video hopefully it does and then down here in the bottom it's got the uh, as you can see that comes only when you purchase it and it's got the uh, fine um, fountain pen when this comes in out of the box it hasn't been changed so it's the medium it's got the chrome here tip on there this is actually the one you would turn to um, do the uh, the ink in there up here in the top, um, it's got the nice, uh, again, the Mont Blanc. This is kind of like in the, I got to check this out, but it, it almost looked like it was ceramic. Uh, on my other pins I have used, they never wore out or anything. So this is a very nice. I believe this probably is, might be a lacquer finished black with white. Again, this up here has got the pin uh, loop here. 
as you can see here is very nice and tight it's got the cap it's a spin spin on and spin off cap you can see the threaded here it's very nice uh, built and everything this has all the uh, chrome finish here but yeah it's got that uh, nice threads to keep it inside it's got that also with the threads in there so yeah it keeps it in there and hopefully inside here you can see the great design they've done here uh, 4810 for the uh, fountain pen there hope I'm really hoping that the video um, can capture that as well and yeah there's not much to it uh, again it's just very quickly and uh, again you just uh, open this up and then uh, once you get it all the way up you put it in the ink spin it down but we'll do that we'll, we'll give it a try I've never had a fountain pen to test out so this is going to be one of my first one to um, be using so one more thing before uh, let me before we try to just kind of show you the sizes and there it, it is a lot it's a lot bigger but it's actually not as big as you think it would be so I'm hoping that on the in this video you guys can see that um this is the very small one I believe this is the I gotta I'll put the links in here but I believe this is the like the classic and this is the Legrand so you can see it is thicker it is heavier of course but this one is not that light either so um, just kind of give you an idea and here it goes comparing to the Ferrari the Ferrari of course is a lot bigger um, it's, you know I wouldn't say it's bulky but it is a lot bigger as well so you know, um, actually, we'll do a uh, later on. I'll do a uh, review of the uh, Ferrari there. So, anybody is interested to see the Ferrari, uh, I can I'll do that for you guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and you know let's let's try and fill this up. I'll show you guys. I mean, I've never again. Oops, I never filled. I never done a fountain pen. So we'll go ahead and get this together here. So we'll pull this out. I'll get you know get yourself a little towel paper towel or something and then um that way you can um uh, fill it in so yeah undo your your pen of course open this up okay so there here you go so now um so what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna un back this out and put the nib inside you know the ink so it can absorb it I, I believe you can just go like halfways in here that should be good enough in there so let me uh, back this up up here hope that catches you guys um, on the video I don't want to block you guys let me oops got some ink on myself okay so we have that backed up so then you go ahead and put that inside there I'm trying to touch that but you put it in there right about what you think it is just turn this let me see if I can do this I won't block you guys uh, all the way down pull this up and then um then you back this up one more time and let a few drops come out like this and then go ahead and push it back to get the air out so yeah that's how you fill it up and then um i would close this up really quick so i won't make a mess and of course uh then you would just uh Kind of like dap it up uh, so that way you can get any ink that's in between here I believe they do sell some uh, uh, whoops, uh, some uh, things that you can clean this up from Mont Blanc but I'm not too sure but you can just use a towel uh, just like this in here so that way it cleans that up okay so we'll give this a test now that we got the ink or yeah I guess they'll call it the ink in there um, again this is the mystery black color this is very nice again very high quality they done here so yeah let's uh, check this out uh, this is the medium point on here hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get this on the video guys so you can see uh, yeah right it's very mm, it's very it's very smooth very smooth you can see how broad the um, the, the lettering comes out with the uh, with the medium tip of the nib here actually not tip but a nib so yeah, it's, if you like that kind of broad, you can actually probably make it depending, I guess, uh, the angle of your, uh, let me see. Yeah, you can make it very smaller. Let's see. Yeah, if you kind of tilt, see how I have it like more of a straight angle. If you tilt it more of a, at a 45 kind of thing side, you can see it, it gives you a much thicker line. If you tilt it up higher, you kind of, 
you can kind of get more of a not too much because then you won't you won't be able to ride see if you got it too much at this angle but if you get it just right you can guess you have to get kind of get used to it so you get your eyes can um you know right let's see uh mr is trick so that's very nice yeah again this is the glacier series that they came out from mont blanc this is based on their uh their mountains out there they have out there that switches you know kind of that like nice detail they did on here so yeah fountain pen and it's actually be able to keep up very quickly as you can see so you get the inking pretty much as fast as you can almost write as you can see you know how some of them you might do if you put more pressure as well let's see so you can get the lines thicker if you put like if you're writing something like See how I put pressure on that? Hello, and then not, not so much pressure. Hopefully you guys can catch that in the video there. You can see how much, you know, thicker by putting pressure. So that's nice. Uh, let's see if, if we get it at this angle. Uh, kind of, yeah, I won't be able to write too much. I was trying to see if I can get it. Yeah, you got to keep it more of that angle. Any other angles? Mm, you can turn it around and yeah but then you run out I was just trying to see what but if you guys like something thinner kind of like in the same um, towards the uh, maybe like in a fine liner rollerball you know in the broad s series I believe this is probably going to be a little bit thicker than a broad um, in a regular you know rollerball or fine liner yeah yeah, this is, but again, it's uh, thicker. So yeah, it's, it's actually really nice. So yeah, that quality again, like I was mentioned to you guys, is very nice. The, everything's built, uh, very nice quality. Uh, it's, this is kind of the glaciers, you know, and ice that you kind of see. Uh, in the video hopefully it catches. It's a nice color. It's, it's not a really dark blue, but it's kind of like a lighter blue kind of give you, you know, when you have in the glaciers that you can see kind of through. And on the website, it's, it shows them a little darker, but it's not as dark. Uh, hopefully in the video captures the actual true color. Hopefully it does. But then again, you know, it's got this uh, uh, chrome. I believe this is probably made out of stainless steel as well because it, uh, this is, you know, it's got some weight to it, but it's got enough weight that it's not going to be too tiring. Again, this is a 20 pound stock regular paper so if you're writing on the um you know heavy duty stock paper is probably going to be better writing as well because that also affects to it like if you're writing um this is a great day and you can see if it actually going to smear if you don't let it dry so let's see if you um you're writing something basically have to kind of see like this is already you know pretty much dry uh you can't go back too quickly because this is actually just starting to dry here i can feel it but right there it's already dry so i won't be able to smear it so that's nice but again if you if you drag i guess if you're um write something and then you drag your hand over it's going to smear over it so yeah once again very nice quality I really like if you guys hope this video helps if you guys were interested in picking up uh, the Menstruck Glacier Solitary Fountain Pen. This is a very nice pen, very high quality built. Uh, I'm going to be testing this out and see how I like it. And um, yeah, see maybe maybe I'll be getting some uh, fountain pens. So yeah, I hope this video helps. If you guys got any questions, leave them below. Leave comments below and I'll try to get to these to you guys back as quick as possible and again i want to thank you guys for watching this video give me a thumbs up it helps us channel thanks again